Hey guys, before we jump into our July favorites, I decided to sit down and talk to y'all about a new thing that I'll be doing on my Twitter. It's hashtag S Ask SR Kelly. I'll be showing y'all down below on what it looks like. Um, any advice y'all want or any questions, y'all just put hashtag S Ask SR Kelly and I will be getting to y'all's questions. Um, if I have Quite a bit of questions. I'm gonna be doing a video on it, and I'll make sure to mention mention you. Um, okay, we're gonna jump into a July favorites. I have four categories: uh, face, lips, uh, all over face, and highlighters. All right. Uh, the first one I'm gonna be doing is lips. I have the Elf lip lip primer and plumper. Uh, one side is the primer, and one side is plumper. Both sides look like that. If y'all can see that. Uh, the plumper broke on me, so it doesn't work that well. Uh, I decided to put it on one day and it freaking broke off and fell on the floor. So that was what was left. Uh, the other part that I have is the Maybelline lip pencil and the color 25 Toast. Um, I usually wear this after. I put on the plumper because my lip, I don't really have lips, right? So, I don't know, it just makes it a little bit fuller. Uh, the next category that I have is the highlighters. And I just freaking broke that. Wow. Um, this one is the Revlon number 10 and Peach Glow. This one's, you can go from light to dark on it, which I like. Okay, I broke, I fixed it. <laughs> um, it has the light down here and it goes are darker so it depends on what color y'all would like um the other one that i have is the ooh, dream luminous i don't know i can't really read it because there's obviously no label but this is what i put on after i put my foundation i put it underneath my eyes and i use the sponge the beauty blender and i put that on and then i usually put a setting um uh, setter on it all right, the next product that we have is the NYC top eyeliner that I use. Um, I don't like to use this one on my bottom because I don't believe it stays. Um, but this one is a felt tip, and it looks like that. But this one works really good. It doesn't fade. Uh, it stays on really well, and it, you have a lot of control over this one, which I like. I don't like to use the one with the like the little brushes because I just feel like it goes everywhere. And the mascara that I like to use after I put on my falsies is the Maybelline, uh, the purple and the blue, purple and yellow, purple and blue, wow. Uh, but yeah, this one I like, uh, the brush, the little wand looks like this. It's really thick, so it works really well. Um, okay, and next thing is all over face, the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. This one I set on on my face after I put on my makeup, just a little little setting it refreshes my face and it feels pretty amazing I don't really like the smell of it but it's okay I think I'm gonna be going with the urban decay one that I, the setting spray that I think I want to try something different I usually don't buy high-end products the most high-end product that I have is a couple of products away and I'm pretty sure everybody else has it um, the foundation that I've been using is the true blends I'm in the color natural ivory it has a pump on it so you can put how much you want and I'm basically almost out of this thing as y'all can see but I like it it's not too not too light not too too cakey but it's really good during the summer so if y'all have trouble if y'all want to still wear makeup during the summer which I do um, I would recommend buying that one because it's very well works good with any kind of skin I have oily skin so that one works really good, I don't have to worry about my T-zone getting oily or anything. Um, the next one that I usually use after, uh, before I take a picture or before I film is the Revlon Photo Ready, it's a color correcting primer. Um, this one also has a pump, so whenever you have like imperfections or something you can just put this on and it makes your face all one tone. Alright, the last product that I'm super excited about and which is the highest makeup I've ever bought is the Shade and Light Palette. Um, from Kat Von D, it was $38. If y'all don't have it, I would recommend getting it. 
Um, the reason why I recommend getting it is because it has three different colors for all kind of tones. Um, I use this one mainly because I'm really light. Um, this one's good for medium tones and this one's for darker stand which is really well. Um, everybody has different preferences on different um, bronzers or highlighters but I believe that one works pretty good. Um, I haven't really experienced experiments much from um, different kinds of bronzers and um, highlighters but I like that one so far but I do want to try different ones um, if y'all can recommend any y'all can comment below and um, I'll probably talk about y'all uh, talk about it with y'all um, but yeah that basically completes my July favorites don't forget, to, if you have any advice, do hashtag S, ask SR Kelly. Uh, I was going to do hashtag Ask Charlene, but that one was taken, so hashtag Ask SR Kelly. Alright, I hope y'all like my July favorites as much as I did. Alright, I will see you on my next video. Thanks.